What's going on YouTube? San Pedro Silver here, Low Pros 11 with you. It's another silver update. I uh, already unboxed this because part of this is uh, uh, stuff I got last week. I got about 10 of these last week and uh, a few more today. So I just wanted to share. You know, usually uh, when you look around places like eBay or other places, you find a lot of these uh, coin press uh, onsas uh, from the year 1980. And uh, of course, you guys, you know, these are uh, 33.625 grams of 925. So it equals out uh, to one full ounce. Actually, a tad over a full ounce, but uh, very nice coins. Um, big, uh, almost kind of like the Ike, Ike dollar, or maybe like the Eagle, but thicker. And uh, just, a, just a really nice, beautiful coin. I met a really, really nice guy actually through eBay. Um, and uh, called him and we made a deal on a roll plus a few more and uh, really really nice guy I was able to get these for 25 bucks a piece which I thought was very fair because just a couple months ago uh, these were you know close to 40 bucks and, uh, and usually they're always uh, the 1980 variety you know so to, to get a bunch of 79's is uh, really cool really really happy to uh, See if this focuses. But anyway, just got not a whole bunch, but got a, a roll plus a few, and um, you know, just to increase my stack. And you know, one of the reasons uh, I'm making this video today, aside from showing y'all um, the the on sauce, but uh, just why why do I stack? You know, same reasons I started. You know, when I first got a silver coin put in my hand. And I said, wow, you know, this is this is real. This is a real asset. And, you know, I come from a background where uh, money was uh, not really part of our upbringing. Uh, still today, uh, you know, I, I take care of my mom financially. My brother and I take care of my mom. And uh, my dad's on a fixed income. He was never really around. But I know that he's on a fixed income living in the Midwest and uh, struggling to get by. And you know, I don't, I don't want to be like them, you know, so I, I went to college, but well, I'm not sure that really did anything, um, because <laughs> bachelor's degree doesn't uh, get you very far these days, so luckily I found a, a good a good job with a good uh, pension and um, a lot of good health benefits and good pay and all that stuff, so it's able to give me a, a comfortable lifestyle and, uh, you know, I'm able to build a stack every week, you know, add to a stack every week, so... Um, and it's just real. It's just real. It's real money, you know. Uh, you know, a lot of these, a lot of people talk about, you know, investing and, you know, you got to have some stocks and be very diversified and, you know, this and that. And, you know, I'm coming from the the school of like, hey, I'm just trying to save some money, you know. Um, and some people cannot save stacks of cash. They can, I mean, they can't even put together stacks of cash, but when they do, uh, it's sitting there for a short time and then they got to spend it on something. You know, because they feel they have to spend or something comes up and they, they literally have to use it. And um, so, you know, I found silver and gold. You know, for me, this is what works. Uh, I, I don't, you know, silver and gold are, are liquid, but not as liquid as cash. And uh, it, it, it's allowed me to save a substantial amount. Uh, I don't really, not sure how much I have at this point, but... Uh, that's really doesn't really matter. The, what matters is that you you keep saving, you keep adding to it, and uh, you know some people say, well, you know, when are you going to stop? You know, how many ounces are enough? And uh, it's really not about that uh, for me. You know, I may have a you know couple thousand ounces, I may have a few thousand ounces, but um, you know, it's just about continuing to save. It's a lifestyle. You know, it's it's not being like my mom. You know, I don't want to be like my mom or my dad when I get older. You know, I don't want to worry about money now. Is silver and gold going to protect me uh, from what my parents are going through? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. But it showed throughout history that it's always been worth something. So I have pretty, I, I put my faith in it and I believe it uh, with all the research and, and everything I've done. Uh, I think that the saving in silver and gold is a, a smart thing to do. Now, uh, as I get older and uh, more wealth uh, comes into my life, then, you know, yeah, I'll get into other uh, investments and, and other assets. But uh, for now, 
I'm comfortable doing uh, you know, the saving with silver and gold, and, and that's it. And people don't like it, then they can kiss my ass. I don't really care. But this is for me and for my daughter, and uh, I feel very good and fortunate to be able to, to stack this stuff. And uh, it's real money, you know, it's, it's real, um, you know, it's just... It just feels real now. Something you know, we don't know what's going to happen with the dollar. Dollar may, uh, you know, they may default. The government may default, but it's maybe unlikely. They may revalue it uh, and then value it against a basket of currencies, or uh, who who knows what's going to happen. Like we we don't really know. Uh, I know there's some people that are stacking and they're never going to sell their their silver or gold or trade it in for stuff. Uh, they just want to keep it forever, and I, I don't really see the point to that. Uh, but, um, you know, for me, it's just save, 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 and, you know, the markets, uh, all these bubbles are coming about, you know, we, we've seen all the, the bubbles uh, in the stock market and the housing market, now another one uh, starting up here in the housing market, and, uh, you know, eventually, I, I believe uh, uh, cash, uh, lots of cash will find its way into the mining stocks and into the precious metal, the physical precious metals, and when it does, um, you know, it's going to force the prices higher on these things. And when they do, then you sell out and get into other distressed assets or undervalued assets and you don't profit. That's what it's all about, right? Uh, or at the very least, save your purchasing power. So whatever I spent on this here today, you know, hopefully uh, years down the line when I need to uh, cash it in, it'll give me the same purchasing power as it did today. You know, and that's, that's the whole idea uh, for me. And... Uh, that's about it, you know, just basically the same reasons, just to <clears throat> continue to save into something that I just can't spend easily, you know, and, it, and it's it's worked out great the last few years, and uh, thanks to this uh, nice guy that I met uh, on eBay, um, you know, Preservation Wealth doesn't sell these here, so I have to go through other sources on, on other things, and, you know, really happy that I met this guy, and uh, that he gave me a good deal, and um, luckily he's got a lot more that I can, uh, hopefully get from him in the future. So, um, that's about it. So just want to say thanks everybody for watching. Shout out to Darth Silver Mass, uh, of course, uh, Silverfish and, uh, Epic and Lance Way and, uh, Rant, uh, Love to Rant and everybody else out there. I don't want to leave out, uh, well, I know I'm leaving out pretty much everybody, but, uh, just, uh, some of the guys, uh, Roman. Keep up the good work, uh, Ape Man, and uh, you know who all you guys are. So, thanks a lot. See you guys later.